If you are a parent to look after children, knowing how to perform first aid is critical. How you react really does matter. If you found yourself in an emergency situation, would you know what to do? And if not, why not? Watching this one minute video could help you save a life. Anaphylaxis is a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. Uh, the most common causes for anaphylaxis in childhood are foods. Uh, the most common foods being peanuts and shellfish, but also rarely common foods such as milk or egg. If you're having an allergic reaction, it might be mild or moderate. Uh, this would involve a rash, some facial swelling, possibly vomiting. Uh, if, if this is all that's happening, then what's needed is the administration of, of antihistamine and to keep a close eye on the child that the reaction doesn't progress. A reaction that progresses to involve shortness of breath or difficulty in breathing or uh, circulatory collapse such as fainting, this is indicative of anaphylaxis. The treatment for anaphylaxis is adrenaline. The adrenaline pen should be given as an intramuscular injection to the upper outer thigh. It should be injected into the thigh, held in place for 10 seconds, removed and then the skin around there massaged for 10 seconds. If you're not sure that the features they're having are typical of anaphylaxis, but you suspect because of difficulty in breathing or circulatory collapse this may be happening, then it is much safer to give adrenaline. Adrenaline is well tolerated by children and it is very unusual that it would do any harm to a child. If you have previously been considered at risk of anaphylaxis uh, by your doctor, you should have been prescribed adrenaline and it should have been demonstrated to you uh, by the doctor or by the pharmacist. Once adrenaline has been given, other medications, if not already administered, can also be given, such as antihistamines or uh, asthma medications such as Ventolin. If after five minutes, the child still remains symptomatic with shortness of breath or circulatory collapse, a second adrenaline pen can be administered in the same way as the first. However, if the child has improved significantly, then no uh, further treatment is required until emergency services arrive. If you are having anaphylaxis and you do not have access to adrenaline, then it is important that you phone 999 and state the words anaphylaxis. Lie the child flat or get them into the most comfortable position they can, uh, they can, they can manage. And if you have antihistamines available and they have not already been given, these can be administered. Otherwise, it is a case of waiting for emergency services to arrive who will carry adrenaline with them. It's important after adrenaline has been given or after anaphylaxis that urgent medical attention is seen, even if adrenaline has been given and there has been a significant improvement. Children must go to hospital.